Hi, this is Rena from thecheesethief.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a bow for a hair bow or a bow tie and this one is a bow tie that I actually made for my twin sons Tweedledee and Tweedledum costume. Uh, it's extremely big for uh, a regular bow tie but for a costume it, it was fitting for them. I'll flash a picture right now so you can see the costume. Okay, so I'm not gonna make a bow tie this big. This bow is probably three inches by five and a half inches. I'm just gonna make a smaller bow um, for their pictures that they're gonna take. So I just wanted to use, this is a seven by seven inch piece of fabric and this is a one, one and a half inch by seven inch piece of fabric. And this is just quilting fabric. Um, you can use any fabric that you want. Per, uh, just not too flimsy, not any jersey material because it'll just be harder. So, um, just make sure that it's ironed and this is a no sew tutorial so I'm just going to fold the fabric and I like my fabric to overlay a little like this you could make it so that it doesn't overlay a lot that that'll give you a wider bow but I'm just gonna make a smaller bow so I have the overlap about an inch over and I'm using just uh, tacky glue you you could use fabric glue I probably should be using fabric glue but I have used this tacky glue before and it has worked out pretty well for me um, I don't wash these bow ties or so if you were to wash them you wa probably do want to use fabric glue and you're just going to put glue just a little bit then uh, line on both sides and you're just going to fold it over like that. Now you're just going to, and then you just want to make sure your bow tie is going to be this way so you want to make sure whatever pattern it is it's a, the right way. And then now you're just going to take one side and I'm just eyeballing the center. You could take a ruler and measure it if you wanted to but eyeballing it works, especially if your fabric is ironed, then eyeballing it should work. And then you're just going to glue both sides. And these don't have to overlap. They just need to be in the center, so like so. so. Now you're gonna do the center. I'm gonna make the center an off color. So if you wanted the center the same color, you would just um, cut out the same color fabric. So. Folding it in thirds like that. And I'm going to just get a little glue. You really want very thin glue because you don't want the glue to seep through the fabric. And you can use a hot glue gun also. Um, that one that would work just as well. So you see, I just glued both sides. And this is just tacky glue. I don't know Eileen's original tacky glue. I use this for everything. So when I built my dollhouse, I used a lot of it. Okay. So now that we have the center, and then we have this, we're going to start folding the bow. And what I like to do is fold it into an accordion shape and you fold these two ends up first like that so that your bow tie will sit properly and then you do another shape third like that so there's one two three little folds just make sure everything is tucked in properly So you just hold it now and then you're going to take some glue and 
this is probably where hot glue would be a little better because it dries a little faster. This works too. And I usually start this way so that it goes up to the front of the bow and then I just wrap around I take my fabric scissors right here so I just dab a little glue over here I'm going to cut a little longer than I need. I'm going to fold it over. And I'm going to put a little glue here. And this is so that oops, the seam is finished. So I probably should have done this first. And then I fold it over. So I have a little too much glue, so I'll just wipe it off of my fingers. So I, I probably should have. Um, folded the seam first. This works too. So now you just want to let it dry. You can put a little rubber band around it to let it dry. If you use hot glue, it probably will be dry by now. And there is your little bow tie. To make it a clip-on tie, there's two things that you can do. Um, if you had like a clip-on earring, you can glue a clip-on earring onto there. For me, I don't have a clip-on earring, so I just took a hair clip, and I you can glue a hair clip this way, or you can glue it, or you can just stick it this way. Um, if you stick a, if you stick it on this way, the bow tie will clip on this way, which works for collared shirts. So this has worked okay for me. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit me at thecheesethief.com for more tutorials like this. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye.